Hi guys, James here from Nathan RS, and I'm today here with Tom, and we are going to be discussing three topics, so tell me if you want to tell them what the topics are. Indeed, they're very interesting topics, if I might, if I might say so, James. Thank uh, you, they were good yeah. ideas of mine. Yeah, so the first topic is, is RuneScape becoming too easy? Do you think? I think it's not becoming too easy. It's becoming more. It's becoming a lot less click intensive, which is kind of what Jagex wanted, which is nice, and a lot of the players want it, which is also nice. So, but compared to what it used to be, yeah, I'd say it is. It's it's become easier, but too easy. It still takes, God knows how many hours to max out your account and stuff. But I can see where people are coming from when they say that it is. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they've pretty much, uh, with, for example, with the rune span, they've just completely blown the XP rates out of proportion <laughs> compared to what they used to be. But we're not complaining, Jagex, so don't change it. Oh, no. D- yeah, please don't nerf it. Although, I've already got 84 rune crafting, so I'm not <laughs> complaining. Nice, man. I could live with that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just other things like... The new fire-making updates, plural... I think fire making's become even easier. I mean, of all the skills to update, fire making it's pointless, and um, well, it's shit. They're trying so hard to make fire making have a use, aren't they? It's like they bring out a fire making dedicated quest. They bring out this bonfire thing with hand arbitra- cannons are the only useful thing for fire making. Yeah, and the Jadinko lair, I suppose, but. Yeah, I think with the Judinko there, there wasn't really a, a call for having bonfires, really. But it's still a nice update nonetheless, I'm not complaining. I mean, I already did fire making the manual way for most of the way, but I don't mind that people can just use bonfires now, because it's really unnecessary to have to click every two seconds. Yeah, I could imagine some kid... Fucking, you know, messing up his hand soon enough from video games. So, you know, I mean, like, get something really, really wrong with his hand, like wanker's cramp or something like that, because he's been playing so many video games, and his mom trying to sue video game companies. They're being big campaigns saying, video games don't allow it to be click intensive. I don't know why that came into my head, it just did. But you just wanted to talk about wanking, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, <has to. laughs> no, but you know, you, you understand what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. It, yeah. it does make the game a lot more interesting for people, because when you think to yourself, right, I want to train my ruin crafting today. Oh, God, I'm going to have to go and get 2k XP per hour and make bugger all profit because of all these bots. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if... Can you imagine if, like, the rune span, instead of it just being one click and then AFK for about ten minutes, instead you had to, like, click each siphon? Do you think you could live with that? I think I don't, the... No, I don't think I could. I think my hand would seriously just be like, someone tell me the update of the wilderness. I think I'd have RSA every couple of hours. Every day, sorry. Well, saying that... um I did Pile Lord fire making until about 91-ish, and that was a lot of experience and a lot of clicking, but yeah, my hand is fine, so... Uh, Although, yeah, yeah, but you'd be clicking every single node, so you'd just constantly there, like, click, 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 you'd be spam clicking constantly for the best XP. Well, you you just have to click, like, once every second, it just just sort of become a rhythm, as yeah, uh, you might want to ex- yeah, explain it. But I think that would be very bad for people. Yeah, but if say if it was given the same XP rates, though, would you be able to live with it more? If it was given the same XP rates, yeah. But one of the nice things about Rune Span is I can sit there and AFK it. Yeah, I, th- I think that's a good point. Anyways, we need to stick to the topics. We've not got a lot of time for this video, so come on, Tom, what's the next topic? <laughs> yes. Oh, we're doing good on time, actually. Uh, is it's st- Next topic is, is it still worth it to skill for money? It, I.e., going for 99s via chinchompers or sharks or that kind of thing. I think it possibly is for Grammall Spikes still, but apart from that now. 
And do you think it should be viable to make money, a lot of money, by going for a 99? Yeah, I do. I think they should. Well, the thing is, a lot of the skills would be quite viable for getting 99 in, for money making. Except there's so many bots doing the same thing, it's kind of uh, pointless. Yeah. Like fishing, yeah. say, before, when they got rid of the bots, sharks and stuff went up to about 2, 3k each. They went up dramatically. But after they've come back down from that initial rush, when people are actually, um, you know, when people were actually fishing and stuff, hmm. because it was a viable way of making money, you know, that's a good way of making money. It's a good 99 to have because you're going to make a lot of money from it. But at the minute, you, you may as well not do it and wait for something like Optimus to come so that you can actually make a decent profit from fishing and stuff. Because otherwise, it's pointless. <laughs> yeah. And it's like with Magic Logs as well, that it's just such slow experience. Oh, yeah, it's definitely the, slow experience. More worthwhile to just get shit for, um, way faster experience, sorry. And then the time you've saved getting the 99, you could just spend making money via Frost Dragons or something, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it does make sense. The thing is, skilling, you know, when you start the game, it's quite a good way of making money. Like, I'm trading my skills and making money. This is pretty awesome. But they should have more skills, which are hard. Like, you can make 500k an hour off it. You can make a mil an hour off it. I, I can only think of Hunter. I don't think I can think of any other skill that you can make that much money from, apart from Slayer or something. But you can get really lucky with that. And you can profit from farming quite substantially, but I don't include farming. I don't really class it as a proper skill because it's unlike all the others. It's, it's the most AFK skill ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> but but yeah. even farming, if you want good XP for farming, you'd cost you a ton of money. Yeah, exactly. That's a good point. But um, I think considering magic logs are still 1.6k each or something like that, you'd make a lot of money off 99 woodcutting that way, but it'd just take forever. But then again, you'd rather make a lot more money when the magic logs had either gone up or something, or the bots had been removed, so you you knew everybody who was getting the magic logs was legitimately doing it. I don't think there are that many magic log boxes anymore. I think there are. If you go to that place in Sears Village, Sears, yeah, south of Sears Village, there right. is, there, I've, I don't know if there still is, but there was a tuck fun of them just, you know, cut, chopping. And there's loads of you, but there is a lot of woodcutting bots. I always see them outside the west bank of Varrock chopping the oak trees, level threes with like keyboard mash names, rune hatchets, just cutting oak logs. Oh, yeah, I've seen quite a lot of them. But anyways, we're not talking about botting, we're talking about money, making money off skills. Well, it's, it is related, though, because bots do kind of ruin it for people oh, who yeah, want definitely. to make money. Yeah. Well, look at all the Slayer drops and stuff. Yeah, they it all just went to shit. Drastically gone down. I suppose, saying this, you can make money off all of the combat skills, bar prayer. Do you mean yeah. you can trade, especially magic? Magic can like do teleport taps and stuff. It's not great ex- money per hour or XP per hour, but it's still profit. And range, you can do stuff like green dragons and etc. But then again, not including the combat skills. We're talking, we were focusing more on skill skills, like skiller skills. Well, combat's still a skill, though, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose. I suppose. Well. But, yeah. uh, st- yeah. Uh, should we go into the next topic? If you, yeah, this was a good idea of mine. Jagat should really implement this into the game. Yes, so <laughs> this topic, which will be the last one for this video, is should Ooh. RuneScape... Yeah, should RuneScape have a mailbox system? Yeah. So if, just, just in case anyone doesn't know what I'm on about, uh, having like a mailbox in, in Varrock or something, and you can go and check your mail... And people can send you mail that's just like a little message. So say if your friends are flying, you could go and be like, Yo, dog, um, do you fancy doing next at this time next week? Yeah, and then you'd send that to me. And then when I next log in, it'd say, you have mail. And then it'd say, whatever James just said. Then uh, you'd reply you with next? no, because you're level 37, you're level 54, James. You're not allowed to go to next. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a shame. 
I think yeah. that would be a good idea, but it wouldn't. Because Why think about you know famous people and stuff. They'd have to probably filter the mail. Yeah, they could just send it to friends. Yeah, only I or suppose. Something. Or clan only. But I was thinking like people like me. I said like twice. That was weird. Who leave their private chats on? I just have so many bot mail. <laughs> you literally have a junk folder just full of gold trading websites. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a, be like... a bit of a problem. I think it would be a helpful thing to do. Maybe not like an in-game thing, maybe just like in the lobby. Why well, I said that, and then my character went into the lobby. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> That's really heavy, man. But, yeah, I think that would be a very good idea. And I think, Jagex, we know you watch all our videos because you love us, so you should implement that into the game. Yeah, hey. It's because some people that play RuneScape don't necessarily like using stuff like Facebook or text messaging. What's that, God? Who uses texts? Me. Do you not text people? Texting is XP waste, man. It's not, because you click the node and then text really quickly. And then by the time you have to click another node, you've already sent the text. Nah, XP waste. Or you just use Siri or Skivvy. Fucking (laughs) Skivvy. Siri, send a text. To Tom. In fact, do you want to demonstrate Siri? Siri, send text... Oh. Siri, send Tom a text saying, Stop XP wasting, noob. Do, do, do. It said, Jerry, send Tom a text sent to XP wasting, noob. Um, I did it wrong. Enough. Did it wrong. Text Tom. It's close enough. I think I could get the gist of that. <laughs> but yeah, did, anyway. I did Iran Iran text Tom. Okay, text so that's that's Siri, Tom. guys. You can you can stop Tom. demonstrating, James. <laughs> James, you can stop demonstrating. No, don't cancel it, you bat. Oh. Fucking fab. <laughs> so, mailbox. 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 It's Would be good. It's called a letterbox, not a mailbox, bruv. We's not American, man. You need to learn to respect your English heritage, bruv. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Soz, bruv. In it, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Right. I think the mailbox would just uh, be another useful... <coughs> letterbox. <laughs> Woo! The letterbox would be... A useful tool to add another layer of social interactivity within the game, and that's clearly the direction that Jagex is going for with updates like the bonfires. Yeah. And it would be pretty good, so Jagex, implement my idea. But if My you, idea, dickhead. My idea. If you if you impl- implement it, you have to give us both 100 mil in-game. And for IRL. IRL. I'd prefer mine in IRL, not going to lie. Oh, then it'd be worth about... Ten pounds or something. No, I prefer hundred million pounds. That'd be cool. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can uh, have hundred million escape, and I'll have it in real life. Who needs real money when you've got Runescape? <laughs> yeah, pictures yeah. are worth so much more than real money. Jesus Christ. Anyway, this has gone on for almost fourteen minutes, so I think we we should probably cut it there. I thought you were going to say wrap it up, and then I was going to make a penis joke, and then you said cut it, and that sounds even more painful. <laughs> <laughs> alright guys uh, cheers for watching and we will see you next time bye guten bye it's, it's guten tag guten bye no